welcome back to the channel. We are here with an Elamine summoning session. And oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about. This banner is nuts. Let's just start with the goals and then we'll get summoning and we can start talking about all the things. There's so much. First of all, our goal is Elamine, obviously. We'd like some Ashera merges as well. I'm okay with Cloud merges, but I don't really need them to be honest. I would love to get Lethality off of Volk. I'd love to get Hardy Fighter off of Senate Fjorm. I don't really want to summon Red though. Um, Red's not the best. Like I don't like having Self there, even though he has DC. It's just really not what I want to be rolling for. Constance is okay, but I don't really need her at all. For Blue, I would like to get Peony merges. Like I'd love that, and she's not coming back for quite a while again. But Julia is there, and I just really don't want any Julias. I think she's completely useless at this point. Uh, Happy's cool, but I don't really need more than one. So, our, essentially, we're going to be going colorless and then green, then red, then blue. Uh, we might do colorless and green, I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and jump in and we can start talking about all the things to talk about. Let's see what we get on this first circle. <laughs> not a single colorless. Oh, red and blue. Okay, so my least two wanted colors. So we're definitely not pulling all of these. Let's pull red, I guess, and see if we can get a Volk. Uh, so when it comes to the spark, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Like, I feel like I should get... Elamine if I don't have her obviously um, by then but I would also just like to get a Volk and that way I don't have to summon a red so I definitely do want lethality essentially what they did here is they were like hey you know that new summoner dual mode uh, that you hate here's here's all the fodder you're talking about not having here it is here's lethality here's hardy fighter and I'm like dang dude like really right now right before uh, anniversary there's Sarah that should be a good sign right that Elamine is coming but yeah, so colorless is stacked. Like they have two colorless uh, Astra units, right? On the same banner. So if like you're a new player, you could like go in really hard here and possibly get like two merged out Astra cores. Like that's super good value. And then Claude's amazing too. So you could even get like an earth core for your legend or for your arena, which is just stupidly good like value, honestly. Um, when it comes to other colors, I don't like them quite as much. Green has a scent. Oh, there's Ennis. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, I think I have him kind of merged. He's not very good anymore. Not like his younger self, who's amazing. Okay, let's back out. Yeah, we have about 300 orbs, so we're going, we're going kind of deep. There we go, that's a circle I want. Uh, so yeah, Green has a scent Fjorm, which Obviously, she's an amazing unit, but she also has Hardy Fighter, which is extremely good in uh, Summoner Duels ranked, but might not be as good in Aether Raid's defense anymore. Still good in Aether Raid's offense, obviously, but uh, LME might have changed up the meta quite a bit now. Then we have Odor, who's like, okay, you know, maybe get like one Odor. You don't really need like multiple, I don't feel like. He does have good fodder though. He has G Dual Calf or and uh, Flow Refresh, so so very good fodder there. So not the worst thing to pick up. Uh, then we have Atri, who is easily the best Fire Legendary. She's so much more powerful than I thought. I knew she would be good, but no, she would be just quite as good as she really is. She's like super ridiculously powerful. So getting her is definitely not the worst. And I already have her at plus five somehow because <laughs> I was trying to get Thor copies. And so I went really hard on that premier banner. And I just got so many Atreus. I got like six Atreus by the time I got like one Thor or two Thors. It was ridiculous. It was so bad. Okay, there's Lucius. <laughs> can, I, can I get Elamine, please? Wrong wrong person. Wrong saint. Um, yeah, so green's pretty solid overall, let's say. Red... <sighs> Self is just not a good unit anymore. He wasn't a good unit on Premiere, and he's only gotten worse over time. Uh, he does have DC, but I'm not really looking for fodder on these banners. I'm really looking for the units I need, right? Uh, then you have Constance. Constance is a great unit, super good. Uh, she has good fodder with attack speed push 4 and far trace and speed speed res run. So very good uh, fodder. And she is a good unit as well, but I just don't really need her for any reason. Like, I can just use uh, Duo Byleth, and she kind of fills the same role, so I'm not too worried about that. Then you have Volk, and Volk is the one thing I really want on red. He has Lethality, he's an amazing unit by himself, like, even without the Lethality. Super good. Uh, I just wish <laughs> I wish they would have put Lethality on the side of Joshua, so I could just use him. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why he didn't get that. It just kind of doesn't make sense to me. 
We had a literally a dagger banner with no lethality. Kind of ridiculous. But either way, that's red. And then blue, Julia, just nothing good there for me. And then Happy's pretty good with the, she has like attack res trace or something, so not bad. And then Peony's what I really want. Like I want to pull all these blues for Peony's, but the chances of me getting her are just not great anymore. Because Peony is still obviously one of the best uh, light mythics out there. She probably is the best light mythic. Uh, dancers are just universally strong in every game mode pretty much. Okay, there's Basilio, but didn't need him either. Can we get color orbs? Okay, so now we've talked about the colors and stuff, and this is a stack banner for sure. But let's talk about Mrs. St. Elamine herself. This unit is ridiculous. I wish I would have recorded my reaction, because I was playing Monster Hunter Rise with my friends, and I'm like, oh, there's a new banner trailer. I'm going to just turn it on real quick. And I like almost spit out my water and they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, no, there's just this meta breaking unit <laughs> on this new banner. I feel like so many people are sleeping on this unit. She is so extremely powerful. Like she is the Milla of a new generation of ether raids. Uh, just like the same way Milla was on her release, right? Where she just completely shattered the meta. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's do red. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Hopefully I get Volk. That would make it worth it. Give me Volk. Nope, it's a three star. Okay. The same way like Mila kind of came out and she just completely destroyed the meta with her isolation effect. And the thing is with Mila, right, is that technically we had Bridal Fjorn before that. We haven't had anyone like, say, Elamine, right? Like this is a whole new effect. And while Mila was really good for like, you know, turning off dancers and assist skills and rally traps and stuff, Elamine's more versatile by a lot. Like she just shuts down an insane amount of things like oh my gosh she's so ridiculously powerful i don't know how anyone doesn't see this unit and just think like yeah she's she's a meta changer like and the, the thing is it's not even easy to adapt to her at the moment right uh, so let's go over her stuff and then we can start talking about some of the counters to her and stuff we are at 9.5 percent my luck is poop right now i've already spent like 70 orbs with nothing uh give me something Anyway, so her stat line. So she has 36 HP, very, very low. <laughs> it makes it a bit hard to run any like HP uh, skills. Like if you want to run like, uh, like panic in her B skill or whatever, uh, sudden panic, then you can't really, it's not easy to do. You can do it. It's just not easy because you have to stack a lot of HP. Uh, 34 attack, which is low nowadays, but it's not that bad. 40 speed with a super boon, very solid. 16 defense, very low, which is actually kind of good. Because if her defense and resistance were high, then she might possibly get hit by Dark Shrines, which would then destroy her resistance, which would then make her less uh, effective, right? So that's actually a good thing. And then 41 resistance, so very, very high resistance stat, very solid, very good. And that, that's especially important because her weapon is based off her resistance, right? You need that high resistance stat. So very, very solid, good stat line there. I'm surprised there's no super boon in resistance, though. I assumed there would be, and there wasn't, which is a bit weird. There's actually a Super Bane, which is kind of like, really, I guess, is really how you're doing it? <laughs> Gonna make a summon two if you get a minus res? Like, that's pretty rude, honestly. Okay, there's so We haven't gotten anything. This is so bad. Ugh, I hate my luck. 10%? No! <laughs> anyway, okay, so her weapon, Staff of Saint, all right? It has free defense and res buff, which is nice because then you don't have to run like a defense res link or tactics or something like that. Because you're obviously, you know, most of the time when you're running tanks, you are running buffs. Usually you just find a way to get around the panic uh, via the panic mana or whatever else. You just find a way to get around it usually and you do run the buffs. So that's very nice. It also makes it so that she's pretty good with Ashera, right? Who she's sharing with on this banner. Because Ashera can offer up that null panic. Uh, so you can have your tank just fully buffed up and not have to worry about anything. But what really makes her weapon insane has to be False Start. This new um, debuff, I guess it is, like, is just... Oh my gosh, red, right? I'd much rather just get Volk than Peony. This is my luck. My luck is so bad. Sometimes. Sometimes it's amazing. I guess it just is like off and on. No, Soleil. You're supposed to be Volk. Wrong person. Ugh. Please. Please. 10.5. Dude, are you kidding me? 
Okay, anyway. So false start essentially like just turns off. Okay, a share. I will take a share. That's amazing. Awesome. Super cool. I wanted to share emerges. I want to use her because obviously she's the villain of my favorite uh, Fire Emblem game. So if I get a chance to use her, I want to. I can use her with like Bray Bike or something. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Good pickup. I think we'll actually pull this whole circle just because our pity is ridiculously high. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'll stop complaining now. Thank you, game. Uh, that was insane. That was cool. Definitely uh, picking up two of shares is amazing. Very happy with that. Get those emerges. I could actually use her in the core instead of having to just use her in the six slot. There's Camilla. Oof. And we'll pull these reds too, because maybe we'll get a Volk. If we get a Volk, then we don't have to like... I'm thinking about sparking for Volk, just because I don't have to like pull reds. Uh, the only reason we're pulling reds right now is because our, our pity is ridiculously high. That's Ira, right? I believe that's Ira. Okay. Ira's actually so stupidly powerful. Like, she's one of those Gen 1 units who just is so good still. Like, they gave her, like, an insane refine. They gave her cooldown reduction, speed, and attack. Like, how are you going to give someone three passives on your weapon? Didn't even give Kana even a single one. Kana's got literally no passives on his weapon. Okay, so that was pretty solid. Let's see if we can keep pulling some colorless five stars. Anyway, so what it does essentially is it turns off the beginning of turn actions, which is like like half the meta. Like it's more than half the meta. It's like almost all the effects in the freaking game when you think about it, right? So like obviously the most apparent one is Bridal Catria. Turning off Bridal Catria is insanely powerful like you can just shut down the entire defense essentially because the way bridal catcher teams obvious are usually work is that they do run save units and the only way those save units actually are threatening in any way is because of triangle attack without triangle attack they're usually not that scary uh maybe they hit you once for like a decent amount but they don't really have enough power to kill you and they also use, you know, they use the, those nuke units in the back with triangle attack to just punch through save balls. But now if you can turn that off, like, save balls just, like, got even stronger. And they were already probably the strongest um, strategy in the game, I'd say. They're, they're pretty up there, at least. Like, I feel like Gale Force is probably the strongest strategy in the game. But it's not as easy to use. And it's not, you can't use it on every single map. Um, sometimes it's just like not possible to use it on a map. We don't want any of these, no. Oh man, we're gonna get towards the spark and not have her. Now I'm gonna have to pick. Anyway, so like, and so it's like pretty much save balls and like Gale Force. I feel like they're two strong strategies right now. Hit and run is also extremely strong though, so I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of strong strategies on offense right now. I guess that's kind of the point, right? Like, offense is just getting more and more tools and defense is getting less and less ways to actually secure wins but anyway so false start turns off bridal catria insanely powerful it turns off legendary sigurd's movement it turns off yes 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 okay let's go oh i just interrupted my train of thought so hard uh, <laughs> i've just talked about getting minus resistance oh that's so bad that's so extremely bad do i just spark for her now i'm gonna pull this whole circle again i don't have pity i don't care i'm gonna just do it hopefully i can get a bolt anyway oh god it sucks you could turn off legendary sigurd's movement you could turn off yuri's movement which i don't think is as big of a deal just because yuri's typically on offense he can occasionally show up on defense but not too often and you don't really want to put her on your defense um not only because you'll be losing way more lift but you'll also be having to hopefully guess you hit Volt or uh, hit Yuri with it, which isn't that great, right? Uh, it hits infantry pulse teams, so any you just hit like the uh, person with the highest HP with false start, and it just turns off the IP chain. So that's like super powerful. You can just shut down a whole infantry pulse team pretty easily. Like technically, the IP chain could still kind of work, but typically, typically it won't. 
Uh, it can turn off Times Pulse for a turn, which can be useful if you're like need to not get hit by a nuke of a specific unit. Okay, so this turned around pretty good, I'd say. We spent about 150 orbs, and we got three five stars, um, and they were the ones I want, so pretty solid. Hopefully we get one more summon. Uh, yeah. Ugh, do I get another Elamine, or do I get... I think I get Volk. And I'll just keep summoning Colorless. Because I don't... I need Lethality. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, never mind! Oh, uh, it doesn't even matter what your IV is now. Plus defense, that's terrible, but that's completely fine. Oh my gosh, my luck turned around super hard. Okay, we're gonna back out. Okay, oh my gosh, everyone's gonna hate me, but it feels really good, I'm not gonna lie. Pulling up exactly the units. This looks so ridiculous every time I see it, there's so many options. So like, a share is a good option. Elamine's obviously an amazing option. I'd probably go with her if I didn't get her. Um, Ascendant Fiorm is really good too. Like Hardy Fighter is amazing. But I really need Lethality and I really don't want to pull reds. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a Volk. We're going to grab Lethality. And then we're going to keep summoning. Going to keep going. Try to get some more merges. Maybe throw a little bit more orbs on green. And try to get an Ascendant Fiorm. There he is. He's going to give Yuri Lethality. I would like two, honestly, just to give Ascendant Joshua Lethality too. But uh, that's probably being a little bit greedy. Anyway, back to what... <laughs> there's so many things this weapon does. So, shuts down Infantry Pulse, inf Times Pulse, it shuts down Duma. So this is actually really crazy, because a lot of defense teams that use Duma, use Duma and Catapult. And what they'll do is they'll put Duma in one row, where the safe defense typically is, and then Catapult in the other one. But now you can use Elamine to actually save your safety fence on that turn, which is massive because it means you can hit and run on that first turn, turning off Duma. And then on the next turn, you set it up so that she hits whoever else you need. So it's super powerful, super good. Like, oh my gosh, amazing. Like, just that is super good. Um, it shuts down Hardy Fighters 3. So Ascendant Fjorm, right? Like, if you see her on defense or... More commonly, I would say you see Hector, right? You see Brave Hector with Hardy Fighter and then like a save skill on defense. Turns that off super quick. Completely removes your problem. Uh, Odor and Regan, both of them with their pre-charged specials. Turns that off. Amazing. Turns off Pent with his charging of specials for mages. Turns off Ophelia. Oh, I almost, almost left. I want these greens. Uh, turns off Ophelia's weapon. It turns off Tempest skills, so like Odd Tempest and Even Tempest. Sometimes people will use that, right, to like catch you off guard. Or just because they need the unit to keep moving so that they can like apply pressure with a dancer or something. Now you can just turn that off. Uh, it turns off Brave Alms movement. Like it's ridiculous how much stuff this turns off. Like, uh, what else does it turn off? I think it turns off Brave Elgard. Um, Sonya, which is like on an IP team. Uh, Duo Dorothea's weapon, Aversa, turns off Aversa, and uh, Iago, I don't, does it turn off Reeve? I'm not sure. I'd have to read that one. Um, it turns off Brave Mar- oh, this is a cool circle, I like this circle. Uh, it turns off Brave Marth's, um, and Legendary Marth's Shining Emblem, right? Like, there's just so many things this thing, it's so versatile, that's the, that's the real power of this weapon is that it's just ridiculously versatile while Mila in isolation is extremely strong effect still like this just lets you like pick apart teams and i feel like this is she's easily one of the most powerful mythics we've received like i could see people saying that plumeria is still better than her but that's just because she's a dancer and you always need you oh, most teams want dancers right though you know sometimes when you're running a save ball you really don't need a dancer at all you much rather have the extra support unit. So this unit's just bonkers good. I really cannot tell you how much this unit like can do for your offense, If you, especially if you're struggling in offense. Uh, offense is pretty easy for me right now, but with this, it's gonna be even easier. Like they are just giving offense a ridiculous amount of advantages over defense. And defense really doesn't have the tools it needs anymore. To succeed. I'm not saying it's not impossible. It's completely possible to have a defense that can win. That's not my point. My point is that it's highly favored towards an offense player. And an offense player 
doesn't need to be as competent as your defense team to beat it anymore. They just need to have the right tools. With five teams, it's pretty easy to have the right tools. Is that Amelia? That's cool, I guess. Wish you were Hector, so I could <laughs> fire you off for DC. Uh, okay, let's back out. We are low on orbs already. I feel like I barely started, and it's already uh, we're already running low. Um, so yeah, I I mean, this is insane. Like, what kind of defense do you build to deal with this? Like, do you just move the Catria ball over to Dark Season now? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you really want not on a Catria ball, but maybe. I mean, maybe that's what we do next. I don't know. Uh, she's just so strong. I, I can't even explain. And that's... I haven't even talked about her preference C-Seal yet. So she literally has damage reduction drive in her C-Skill. Like, Flane has no weapon, but it also gives defense and res. It's extremely powerful. Like... You put that, you put her between some save balls, right? Like a far save, near save. And that's going to be difficult to crack. It's going to be very difficult to crack. I would say the only downside is that she gives speed. Uh, which isn't always bad. Speed can be pretty useful. Uh, it's more useful like on dodge tanks usually. But even on normal tanks. Like sometimes Brave Hector, I like having speed on. Because it keeps him from getting doubled right like if he's fast enough to deny the double with his weapon uh he'll win that speed tie and then it'll work so sometimes speed is pretty useful there uh i do feel like she could have gave like i don't know defense or i guess Astra already gives her like maybe defense i don't know it would have been a little bit better either way she is just easily one of the best mythics we've gotten like i she's up there with Regan and plumeria for me um, and then under that would be like Thor and Nashera, and then under that is Naga and Altina, obviously. Um, I don't know where she's at. She's either like, I think she's better than Regan. Like, Regan is super versatile because of Kanto, and she has Seder Shell. Like, she's an extremely powerful unit, don't get me wrong. Especially if you can invest in her and give her some power. She's stupid. Like, she's super good. But, like, this unit can just shut down teams, like, ridiculously uh, effectively. Like, she just turns them off pretty much that's not to say she's perfect though I, I have a list of things she's bad at so let's talk about that a little bit let's talk about some of her downsides right uh, I think one of the biggest downsides is positioning so she needs to be in a cardinal direction of the unit she wants to uh, apply false start to which is a big deal right and the reason why it's not a big deal isn't because it's difficult to line up a unit it's because you also want her to be within two spaces of your tank typically because you want to give that damage reduction aura so you sometimes you might need her on one side of the map but then you need to get her to the other side of the map so that she can be within two spaces so that can definitely be problematic they did kind of fix that by giving her um shove so and uh the trace skill because what you can do is kind of like shove right and then use the two movements still so i mean that's not terrible it's not perfect uh i'd prefer what's the other one the one that Sarah has. The one that's repositioned. I'd rather have that. If, if they let me have whatever I want. I definitely would have taken that. Uh, but they did not. So that, that's still fine though. Okay, there's Caden. That's unusual. But sure, why not? Get all kinds of green 4-star special rates. I mean, he should be getting refined pretty soon actually. And he's actually not bad. He's a pretty good unit if you want a uh, stat stack. We're getting back up to 10% again. <laughs> I got some luck in the game. which is like, okay, that's enough. Uh, okay, also, um, her weapon is resistance-based, right? So, like, one of the ways to counter her ability is resistance stacking. So, you could technically resistance stack Bridal Catria to try to dodge this. It's going to be very hard because her resistance isn't very good. And Ella means resistance is, is very good. It's 41 base. Um, but that's one option. Another option is you could have a, a healer on your team. And your healer can run odd or even recovery, and then they can resistance stack, so that way they can't get hit by the uh, the false start, and then they could cleanse everybody, right? But that still doesn't work on every turn. That's only every other turn. So if you're running like odd recovery, you could have the safety fence protect you on turn one, and then turn two you could go in, and then still do whatever you wanted, right? Like it's there's ways around it essentially. It's not perfect. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, so there's pretty much, that's it. Positioning, resistance, 
Uh, she is a staff unit too, which is amazing. I love the idea of this finally getting a legendary mythic staff. I think that's great. But if you want to use a different staff unit, um, it starts to get a little bit iffy. You really don't want two or three staff units on your Ether Raids offense team uh, because of the lack of positionals typically. And also, yeah, staff units just aren't always the best. Like sometimes they could be great, but that's not always what I want. Like, so then it becomes like the question of Mill is in light season, so we can't use her here. So if you're using a Senate Fjorm like I am, do you want to run a Senate Fjorm and Elamine? That's two staff units on your team. I mean, you can definitely do it. Like it's it's definitely possible, but it is interesting. Uh, she does lack some offensive power as well. Uh, she does not have Wrathful Staff in her weapon, which I think makes sense. I think I'd rather have a trace skill so I can keep that mobility up. But it does hinder her ability to like finish off units sometimes if you need that. Also, you're going to want a res stacker. So you're going to want to run like Fortress Defense Res 3 or Fortress Res 3. Either one works pretty much. Uh, Phantom Res. Stuff like that, right? So she's going to be lacking power to actually kill anything. Which isn't bad. A lot of times, you know, you're running your supports and you don't expect your supports to ever kill anything. But it is something to note. Like something to keep track of. Okay, we're getting some Kazes. So she, she definitely has some downsides. Uh, the other thing I would say is competition between Astra units, right? For some reason, IS, IS has given us four Astra units that open up the, the sixth slot. We have Regan, we have um, we have Ashera, we have we have El Elamine, who else do we have? Uh, Thor, we have Thor. All four of those are very, very, very good mythic units. And so it's kind of like, well, which ones do I want to use? You know what I mean? Um, I don't know why they've given us so many Astros when, when Dark has one. We just have Knot, and that's it. Even Anima just has Saros and Odor. So I'm not sure why they're just like flooding Astro with us now. I don't know if they're trying to like make up for the second year of <laughs> Ether Raids, uh, where we just didn't have very many good Astro units, right? Or the first year, I guess. Like all we had was Naga, and then we got Altina at the very end. But then after that, we got a whole bunch of good ones, so. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to make Astro just easier, but uh, there's a lot of competition there. Like, I want to use Plumeria. I want to use Regan. Um, I want to use Ashera. I want to use <laughs> Elamine now. Thor is more of like a... I use Thor on Gale Force teams. If I'm not using Gale Force, then I don't really want Thor all that much. Uh, the exception being Fallen Leon, because she allows him to hit Noontime consistently, which is uh, very nice. But either way, they're all very, very good. So there is that competition there between the, the mythics to also consider. Uh, when it comes to Elamine though, do I think she's a must pool? I don't think she's a must pool, but she is very powerful. Like I think having her is gonna help you out. And if you are struggling with offense, I wish I would've, oh, I'm out of orbs now. I just noticed that. I've been talking so much, I didn't notice how much. We're at 11%, are we really at 11%? Like, we've gotten the... Oh my god. We got the units we wanted. We got three of them. <laughs> I spent 300 orbs. So typically you get... I'd say about 50 per fifty per on the Legendary Mythic Banner is your average you're, you're aiming for. And we got half of that. <laughs> so definitely not the best. But it was the Mythics I wanted. So at least there's that. Ugh. I kind of want to keep going. Ugh, did I buy more orbs? Do I buy more orbs? Oh, that's Felicia. Go away. Anyway, yeah, so it's kind of insane right now, the competition between these mythics. And the other thing is like merge count, right? So if you already have Regan merged up, if you already have Plumeria merged up, do you really want to get a new mythic to merge up? Mm, not really. You don't want to lose score. So you could use her in your sixth slot and use, not lose score. But then when it's her bonus week, you're losing score if you're using her. So it's a bit rough. Anyway, we're going to stop right here for a second. I'm actually going to buy a bit more of orbs to break this pity. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So we got some orbs. We used some of our Google points, got some more. So we're good. I just kind of want to break this pity. I would really like to get Ascendant Fjorm though. We're at 11%. That is so ugly. I don't even want to look at that. Uh, I would really like Ascendant Fjorm and then anything else would be nice. But that's really the last thing I need. I would love more merges though. Always would love more merges on my Mythics. Always just makes it easier to swap the teams around. 
which is nice. I think that's like the biggest thing that sucks as a whale. <laughs> this is very much like a first world problem for whales, but um, when you have like a highly invested plus 10 mythic, then you have to use them, right? And so it makes it so you can't really like have fun like using different mythics because you're always stuck using that one that's plus 10 for scoring. Valoria, that is an amazing four star special. Oh my God, please be plus speed. I have, I think she's like plus two or plus three. And I've gone, every single one is like plus resistance or something. Uh, plus, <laughs> it's literally called it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that, that's kind of like a first world problem, but as like a free to play and you're just like running like plus zero units, right? You can just swap in any mythic once you get them. I would love to have that kind of freedom. That would be amazing. But the only way I could really do that is by having plus 10 of every mythic. And I'm definitely not interested in spending that much money. Okay, this is a really good circle. If I could get... It's 11.5. Like, 11.5. This is... Re <laughs> Pity in this game is so bad now. They really need to um, cleanse the three-star pool. Because that would actually alleviate this by a ton. They needed to just... All the Gen 1 units need to be removed, I think. Or a majority of them. And they should be put in, like, a different summoning pool. Like a free-to-play summoning pool, pretty much. Like, you could get points or something, and then use them to summon on that banner. And then maybe it would also have, like, the Gen 1 5 stars at, like, a low percentage or something. But they need to get rid of it. This is... The bloat in this pool is just absolutely ridiculously bad. Like, I'm at 11.5%. About to be 12%. And I can't pull a 5 star. Colorless is also cursed. <laughs> Colorless is a terrible color. So is blue now. Uh, somehow red became a good color, which is just insane to me. Because red used to literally be the worst color. Do I want to pull this red? I don't think so, actually. Because I don't want to break my pity. And it'd be like a sell-off or something. Okay, never mind. The game's not going to let me make a choice. Uh, please be a Senate Fjorm. And I'll just stop. I'll be good. I'll, well, I don't know if I'll be good, but I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> but yeah, this banner, they knew what they were doing. Like, Volk shouldn't have been on this banner. It should have been uh, Malice, I believe is her name. I think she should have been on the banner. I think she did get rerun, though. But either way, like, they brought back Volk stupidly quick. And it's because they're trying to bait people to summon because Anniversary's coming up. Ugh. Not only are you not a Senate Fjorm, you are Odor. I do not. What am I going to do with you? Plus defense. I'm going to probably just... I got a second Odor before, and I just sacked him to chill for Flow Refresh. So maybe we'll do... Somebody else will gain Flow Refresh, I guess. Uh, Please be a Senate Fjorm. That really sucks. That actually super sucks. That is not the unit I wanted to see. Nope. Nope. No luck. That sucks. Who could it? Who's the other green? A tree. I would have been much more happy with an A tree. We're gonna pull everything here. We're at twelve percent. There's no way I'm not pulling this entire circle. Maybe we can get another lethality, and then Ascendant Joshua can have it. Ascendant Joshua. I just want to play with that unit so much. I love him. I was watching uh, Fayology's video on Summer Duels Ranked. Um, I, it's not my favorite game mode. I, my video made that very clear. But watching him use. Ascendant Joshua and destroying like high tier players. Oh, it made me like, it made my heart swell. I was so happy. Like, I was so ridiculously happy. Are we really not going to get another five star at 12%? Is our luck really that bad? Uh, come on, Peony. Give me Peony. Let me finish with Peony. That'd be amazing. I'm also losing my voice. No, it's Perry. I hate Perry. Get out of my face. I don't want to look at you. Okay, we should probably stop. We should probably stop. But we're not going to. We're going to keep going. <laughs> this is so bad. Don't don't ever follow my example. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just... Odor is such... I didn't want Odor, dude. Like, A tree, I would have been cool. I would have stopped. Senate Fjord, I would have been ecstatic. I would have stopped. There's Sarah. Uh, anyone else, really? Just, oh, I don't like Odor. I don't think anyone likes Odor, really. Like, except for Odor Sims. Like... His banner did absolutely abysmally bad. He's not a horrible unit. He's okay. I don't really like the Kanto on defense, but he's not bad. Hey, it's Jenny. Jenny's like super good, actually. She's a great healer. 
love using her. I use her in AA like every time I can pretty much. And she just clears maps by herself. But yeah, Odor... Do I like Odor better than Saros? Uh, it's kind of like back and forth. But I feel like he's kind of better in some ways. But then he can also get baited and can be kind of annoying. But yeah, I would have been happier with Atri because then she was at plus six. The thing is though, if I get like a plus ten Atri, I have to use her in fire season. And it's like, do I replace Hector? Do I replace Hec legendary Hector with Atri? You score she scores better, but like that just feels gross. I don't want to do that. It's like legendary Hector, like that's my like my friend, you know what I mean? He's like the OG on the account. Or one of them at least. I guess technically the OG is, is legendary Ike. And then Hector. But he's one of the OGs. Like I used to love using Legendary Hector. He would just stomp arena matches for me. I still like using him. He's actually still pretty good in arena. Okay, we're just gonna, yeah. If these circles, or these orbs don't get us anything, we'll just stop and be sad. That we ended with Odor instead of, oh, nope, oh, okay. <laughs> Clary needs a resplendent too. So does Le uh, Lechesis or Lechesis, or however you say her name. She needs one too, like real bad. Senate Fjorm. Senate Fjorm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a Senate Fjorm. Nope. It's Gunter. <laughs> uh, do I want to pull anything else? Let's see. No. I got 19 orbs. We'll do one last circle. This is it. Okay. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Don't really have pity, so I don't have to worry about anything else. Come on. Nope. Uh, this is why you just stop when... <laughs> You get pity broken at 12%. You just stop and call it a day. Cause now I'm back at 9%. Ugh. These banners are brutal. Like, honestly, my recommendation, if you're not a whale, um, or if you're not trying to, like, heavily go in on a unit, it's just, like, go to the spark. Whatever you get from the spark, get that, and then probably leave. <laughs> it's probably my best advice. Because uh, sometimes you just get screwed over. Like, I, I did pretty good, though. I got two Sheros, two Elamines, and a Okay, we're good. <laughs> I, I complained. So the magic of getting five stars in this game is by complaining. Plus defense minus res. I don't really care. I'm going to kill you, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, let's do the last... Which one do we want to do? Do we want to do red or blue? Uh, red has Volk and Constance, and blue has Happy and Peony. Uh, I'll do blue. Even though blue has less of a chance, I guess. Blue's just like very, very bad odds. But if I got P and you're happy, I would be very happy. Nope. It's gonna be Reinhardt himself. The actual OG. Okay, we are done. We are absolutely done. That actually worked out pretty well. We spent 420 orbs? Somewhere around there. And we actually got pretty much everything we wanted. So I'm extremely happy. This actually turned out pretty good. Even though my pity got extremely high twice. Yeah, twice. Okay. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Also drop a comment telling me how your summons went if you did summon. Because I know that right now is not the best time to summon. This banner actually lasts 10 days. 11 if you count the day it comes out on. Which is enough to get through the anniversary and see everything. So if you are a free to play player, if you are saving your orbs, definitely do not summon yet. I'm not saying don't summon on this banner at all. But I'm saying just wait, see what's coming up, then summon after that. You don't need Elamine immediately. You're not going to like lose. You're probably not going to. I don't want to say you're not going to. You're probably not going to get knocked out of Vault of Heaven because you didn't have Elamine, right? That's The chances of that are quite low. So definitely save your orbs. Definitely drop that comment telling me how your summons went or what you're saving for or what you think of Elamine herself. I'm definitely interested to see if everybody else considers her as powerful as I think she is. Also, let me know if there's any other units on this banner you're really looking forward to trying to get. I hope all of you had great luck, and I will catch you later with more Fire Emblem Heroes. See you then. Bye.